Hello! So I've downloaded the gyroscope plans from Clickspring and I'm going to have a go at building it in this video. To start with I'm going to make the gyro wheel. It's made of brass and it weighs about half a kilogram. Now there's no reason I couldn't have just machined the wheel out of solid, but since I managed to get this brass poker quite cheaply, I'm going to melt it down and then cast a blank for the wheel. So let's get the casting over to the lathe. Now on the click spring gyroscope build, he uses a super glue chuck. I'm not sure I really trust that. So what I've done instead is make the casting with a spigot on the back. I can hold that without any worries. Now I've got the front face and the outside of the wheel machined. I can turn it around and hold it in the four jaw chuck. I've used some aluminium over the jaws just to stop the wheel getting marked. In another variation from Chris's gyro, rather than gluing the wheel onto the main shaft, I'm actually going to use a couple of gub screws, so here I'm just tapping the threads. So now it's on to machining the outer rim of the gyro. This is just cut from some aluminium pipe, and it's just a copy of what Chris did. I'm using my DTI just to get the pipe central, although to be honest it was a bit egg shaped, so it's probably about the best I could do. To make sure I get things exactly 180 degrees apart, I'm using the rotary table. So here I'm tapping some threads, something that I can use to hold the bearings in place. And now for the bearing supports. And a big difference to what Chris created, I'm going to use ball bearings. Now the bearings are 5mm on the inside, so you can see on the shaft there's a step that goes from 6 to 5. This is to hold against the bearings at each end. To keep things in place I'm using a bit of Loctite 222. It's pretty easy to undo, but it stops things slipping when the gyro is running. I'm going to need a way of spinning it up, and I don't think a bit of string is going to get it fast enough. Instead I've made a brass key, and that's fixed onto the end of an old model plane motor. The wheel's actually quite heavy for this little motor, so to stop burning it out I'm using a constant current power supply. As the wheel gets faster, it needs less power to keep it going. So you can see the current stays at 3 amps, but with increasing RPM the volts are going up. Now I'd originally built this with a plan to give it away to a small child as a present, but actually as it gets faster it's quite scary and a bit too dangerous for children. So 
CV Balances. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to visit Chris at Clickspring. That was the YouTube inspiration for this build.